Hey guys, I don't know if you saw this. This is an acrylic pouring painting that I did the other day. It was the first time that I ever did it and it was really fun and I learned a few things so I'm gonna do another one right now. So the first one that I did, this is the footage from the first one that I did. You can see I used four different colors and I added them all to one cup and then I flipped the cup on top of the canvas and the paint was not as thin as it needed to be. So I'm gonna fix that. Today I'm gonna be using four colors again. I'm gonna use white, orange, like a lime green and or chartreuse, chartreuse green <laughs> and this turquoise color. I'm gonna be using more of this solution which is equal parts of Elmer's glue and water and this thins out the paint and I need my paint to be a lot thinner than it was yesterday and today I'm gonna try silicone instead of the almond oil that I used in the last one and I want to do this to create cells in the paint. We'll start with orange and I'm using a much larger canvas so this will be interesting. I'm using gloves because this is very messy. I had too much white yesterday, so I don't want to use as much white. Maybe a little more of that. <laughs> I love this color. It's like Carolina Blue, like my favorite team, the Tar Heels. This thins the paint out. I'm gonna mix this in and the paint really has to move quite a bit. You don't want it to be like too watery, but I don't know, I'm still learning. This is just my second time trying this. We definitely have a lot of orange. <laughs> no question about that. So when you stir it up, see the little bubbles that get in the paint? Yesterday, I added rubbing alcohol to my paint to help get rid of the bubbles, but I didn't really think it worked. I read to do that and watched some videos where other people did that and it didn't seem to work for me. I had a lot of bubbles anyway and I didn't really, I didn't mind, they didn't bother me. so. I'm not gonna bother with that today. This is the only silicone that I could find. <laughs> so I don't know if this is really gonna work. Whoa. Um, yesterday I used almond oil because I didn't have anything else. And I've read about a few different things that you could use, like, but basically silicone is supposed to be, silicone or linseed oil are supposed to be um, really cool. So we'll give it a try and see. So with the silicone, you can see the lines in the paint. I hope, see those lines right there? And the little bubbles. So the silicone, I think, creates a like a reaction with the paint. So you don't really mix it in. You just kind of incorporate it. All right, so this is where things get really fun and also crazy. So I'm taking all the paint, all the colors, and I'm going to layer them one on top of the other in this cup. And then I'm gonna flip the cup on top of the canvas. And hopefully the paint is going to run everywhere. That was what I was hoping yesterday. It was kind of like a big blob. Didn't go anywhere. Here, look at this footage from yesterday. So this is what we have so far. I feel like maybe we need a little more green. And then we're gonna do some white. Okay, so that's what it looks like right now. Okay, 
so as you can see, I am using a tray. So this is what I did yesterday. So I have these little Play-Doh containers propping my canvas up and I'm gonna take the cup that we poured all the paint in and place it, well, I'm gonna place the canvas upside down on it and then flip it over and let all the paint run into this. It's very messy. So this is kind of like the moment of truth and it's a little bit stressful. It's also exciting. So here we go. <laughs> oh, this canvas is much bigger. This is gonna be hard, I think. Okay, that wasn't too hard. I'm gonna set it down and let it sit and all drip for a minute. Get all the paint dripping down onto the canvas and then we're gonna lift the cup up. I thought my paint was so much runnier, but it's still not going crazy like I thought it would, but I can see some of the silicone. Those are called cells. So I don't know, maybe I would add even more next time. So now, I'm just gonna take the canvas and I feel like it needs more blue. More blue, less green. The green doesn't look that great, I don't think, but I, I like the blue and I like the orange. It's good that I like the orange because there's a lot of orange. <laughs> so I'm gonna add a little more blue. Ooh, that was a lot of blue. And maybe a little white over here. I don't know, it's so funny. Yesterday I had too much white. Today I feel like I don't have enough. Okay, I added more to our purple cup and I'm just gonna swirl a little more on in random places. I know I said I didn't like the green, but I'm gonna add a little more. I think it might make it a little more interesting. It's really tricky to get it down into the corners because I don't want to mess up like the cool marbling like that's going on and that's what it feels like. So I would be curious if there are any artists watching, maybe you could give me some tips on color selection, like what colors would look really good together because I feel like I thought that these colors would look really good together, but now I'm not so sure that they do. Oh, this one is so messy. Oh my goodness. I have a serious mess happening. That's okay though. Look at my hands. That's why I wear the gloves. Okay, I had to take a second and stop and change my gloves and clean up a little bit. So I want to do something cool. I think, it, I hope it's going to be cool. So I used this yesterday too. It's a little mister and I have rubbing alcohol in it. And I'm going to spray it on the canvas and see if it reacts with the paint at all. It did yesterday and it was really neat. It doesn't seem to be doing it. I don't know why. This is what it looked like when I did it yesterday with my first painting. Okay, so I actually do see a little bit of cool stuff. Um, it might be difficult for you to see, but there's definitely like some interesting stuff happening right here. Yeah, it's definitely not having the same effect. So I think the silicone that I bought is not the right kind. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to do some more research and figure out exactly what to buy. 
I feel like this kind of had a reaction yesterday with the paint, maybe because it had the oil in it. So I don't know. I don't know, that means I'm gonna have to do another one. Can you see all of that? Yeah, I'm just, I'm not loving the colors. Somebody help me. <laughs> Somebody who knows what they're doing, help me please. I mean, I think it looks cool. It kind of looks like a map in a way. Okay, so here's what it looks like right now. I added just a tiny little bit of paint in a couple of places and I'm gonna let it sit and dry. This is gonna take 24 to 36 hours to dry. Okay, so it's completely dry and it's been it's been over a day um so it didn't take that long to dry and it turned out really neat it definitely reminds me of a map other than the orange stuff <laughs> it's kind of like a globe and i don't love the colors but overall i think it turned out pretty cool i hope you guys enjoyed it and i'll see you soon bye